Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be showing you another part of my makeup collection. So this is going to be my lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. So I'll just really get straight into it. So if you want to see my lip gloss and liquid lipstick collection then just keep so I thought I'd just start here with the lip glosses. There's a few lip glosses that are in another drawer. Um, but we'll get to that. This is my main lip gloss collection. So these here so i'll start here really this is a uh, one from xx revolution in this shade sequel just like kind of chocolatey brown color um not much to say about that and next i have these two from mrs glam by michelle uh one's in what's it say <laughs> poised plum and the other night night the night night is so nice it's like the most beautiful like warm brown shade and these actually smell like amazing those mrs glam lip glosses they smell so sweet and so nice so if you like like um nicely scented lip glosses then i would definitely go for that then next i have these two from primark the drawer is literally jam-packed these two which were part of their summer collection last year paradiso so this one is watermelon sugar and this one is coco kiss so so nice they're more like a they're like a jet i don't know why that's the right word but they're like kind of like a gel formula that they're kind of like they're not very like wet in terms of a lip gloss that as in it doesn't really slide about it doesn't feel liquidy but it doesn't dry down it's kind of like you know it's not like they're not like really glossy or anything but yep that's those and then next i have if i can even get this back this kiko gloss in 32 so it's just like a brown shimmery nudie kind of lip gloss and then i have this coco pebbles which is honestly so stunning i need to show you it's a, the betty lip gloss i used to use this all the time and i've honestly just like forgotten about it almost but it's literally so stunning it smells like chocolate as well yes i actually definitely need to use this again because like look at how nice that is and it honestly has like the strongest chocolate smell ever especially since i've got like loads of lip, more lip liners now than when i would previously use this i definitely need to try it out with one of my new dobby lip liners but honestly i love this for the smell alone it's just like pure chocolate and um, Next, I have these three from Relove by Revolution. <laughs> Got these whenever Relove launched in the Superdrug stores. So these are so cute and they're so pigmented and they're actually so like good for the price of them. They were literally like two pounds fifty, I think. So we have the shade Sweet, um, what's this? Glam, <laughs> and Sugar. So yeah, they're so nice the shade i think the shade glam was the one that i really loved i'm trying to think like when i bought these because i know i bought i feel like i only bought two originally maybe i bought all three i don't know no actually i think i bought them all together at the same time but honestly they're so cute look at the little wand so adorable again i'm so bad for this since i got my doll beauty lip glosses i'm literally only wearing those so I need to get back in the, to this drawer because these are super cute and they're all like really nice neutral wearable shades so i need to start wearing those again um next i have these ones from primark so i'm just gonna go through them i do have some more primark ones um in an, uh, another drawer in my other room so again i will show you them i don't know if it'll be the end of this video or um, when I do like kind of my tidy up video of showing you the rest of my stuff so these are just the ones I've got from Primark I think basically most of them after you take the plastic off them with the price and everything the names unfortunately come off but this one still has the shade name on it this is my favorite pink macaron but I don't think you can get this anymore but honestly like I just need to show you like this is my favorite thing ever like pink macaron gloss from primark it's honestly i can't like it is so stunning and i literally am not using it at all at the moment because it's so stunning because 
I can't get it anymore so I you know it's one of those ones that comes out very rarely it has to be a special occasion because I can't face the day where I don't have any more of this because I can already see you know you can already see that it's starting to get used up um, and then I've got I can't remember which ones are which to be honest I think this one's sweet talk this is honestly if you want sweet talk it's so easy to get it every time I go to Primark they have like a billion sweet talk lip glosses um so yeah it's just this nice one here and then I've got I think this is called maple it's like brown shimmer and then um I think this is mink pink this is so nice for like cool toned nude lip and then this is candy which again i've used over and over and over and my mom got me a new one of it for christmas so i don't have to worry about running out but yeah this is such a stunning like topper gloss so if you have like a nice lipstick honestly like this looks amazing over the top it just adds such a nice like rose gold sparkle to any kind of lip so that's why i absolutely love that Again, I'm trying to like tidy as I go along here. Um, next I have Too Faced Lip Injection Set, which was a gift because if you have watched my channel before, you know I don't really buy a lot of high high end makeup myself, and I'd consider Too Faced like a high end brand. So yes, this was a present. Um, and you just get uh the clear original one and like a pink tinted one in here let me show you like one of them they're they're minis too so it's like the pinky one um i did have to say like i felt this was i don't know don't ask me why but the first time i put this on i put a ridiculous amount of it on and my lips stung so bad i was like oh my gosh like this is like because at first i was like oh it doesn't hurt that bad five ten minutes later i was like i'm in so, so much pain like my lips are so sore with all this like tangling oh my gosh but yeah um i do like those and then here you can see from here with me looking at it i have the sleeping beauty the revolution and sleeping beauty trio of glosses again they're so nice as toppers most of the glosses i do are it's like a topper over lipstick because i do like to go all out <laughs> with my like lips so next this is so pretty this is an i heart revolution coconut gloss i think it definitely has a shade name is it meringue i, th I feel like the, the shade name's meringue but this is such a nice like baby pink nude topper gloss it is so nice and it smells <laughs> so good as well so yeah this is such a nice gloss um and then I, oh my gosh i got this recently it's literally so pretty like it literally looks like that exactly you know on your lips like this the sparkles here it's honestly stunning it was literally like i think it was 2.99 or something ridiculously cheap and honestly just so pretty and so unique i don't really have anything like this in my collection that this is kind of like holographic um and then next i have this from Primark. it's not great it's lip plumper gloss let me see if i can show you it but it's not great by any means it looks pretty but it really is really flat on your lips like i just find i just find it really flat when i put it on so i don't really use this a lot i need to try it out again but first impressions were it didn't plump it just made my lips unnecessarily unnecessary sting because it didn't actually i didn't personally find it actually plumped but yeah and then next we have i've got <laughs> everything just rolls about in these drawers um i've got my disney princess lip topper soap moana snow white aladdin cinderella well aladdin it's jasmine but it says aladdin on there so that's why i said aladdin and um, cinderella and under here is rapunzel so they're so pretty and again i just need to use all this like more i swear i'm gonna stop buying makeup apart from like absolute essentials like foundation when it runs out because i have so much good stuff that i just need to use um i do love the moana one it does smell very minty though i don't think it plumps 
but next I've got these two Fenty glosses and um I did previously show my other Fenty glosses in my um first video I did in this series but this is Mauve Wives. I love this colour when I bought it but it's not really a me colour anymore but I am still trying to you know find ways to wear it because I spent quite a lot of money on it well I did get it on discount this is my first Fenty gloss I ever bought but it's definitely so like like previous <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but like this is definitely the kind of colour I was so into previously but not so much now and then this is Fussy Heat which I've just recently bought oh my gosh obsessed obsessed with the heat formula like if you're looking for a good plumping gloss definitely check the Fenty heat gloss bombs out because they are absolutely incredible I really want to get the cherry one but I'm like oh I just I don't know I just when I seen the lemon lava one I was like that is not something I usually go for but I'm just obsessed with the Fenty gloss bomb heat formula like I genuinely think it's one of the only lip plumping glosses I've got that actually plumps so next I've got this which was a present from my mom it's the Charlotte Tilbury pillow top lip Lustre it is so nice. I love wearing this over the pillow top lipstick. But as you can see, it's so tiny. Like it is literally. It, this is full size, and it's literally like so tiny. So it only comes out on special occasions, like very, like occasionally, because it was so expensive. And I do really love the finish of it, but I just don't want to like you know use it up because realistically, I'm not gonna get another one because. I just I just don't, don't really buy from like Charlotte Tilbury um it's just so expensive so I really want to like save this for special occasions but it's so nice for everyday wear as well and oh my gosh I absolutely love this this is the Revolution Pro lip gloss in tainted literally the most stunning nude like can you see literally like how stunning of a nude this is it honestly just and it smells so sweet as well like I, I just love the smell of it down here i have this revlon gloss that i got from it like an outlet beauty shop it's in the shade but what was i even say blister out can i even get it out can i even get the wand yep <laughs> so this is what that looks like again such a nice gloss i need to go through and wear actually wear this stuff there are things in here that i do reach for regularly but it's just like obviously because i have so much and i only have one pair of lips you know so these are a few of the maybelline lifter gloss are they called lifter gloss yeah so i have um this one which is i think it's petal oh no reef this one's reef and then this one, this one's petal. You can actually see the shimmers in it. Kinda. Yeah, kinda see the shimmers. And then we have stone, I think. I think this is stone. Yeah, they're not my favourite. They are more of like a creamy, like a cream formula rather than a gloss, I would say. Um, so definitely just not my favourite lip gloss formula. Then it's not like when I like a lip gloss, I like it to be like a real like you know glossy lip but they're more of a cream and i don't really go for that kind of thing next i have all these do perfect glosses i did get it was a massive pr box i it didn't get it in pr but i bought you could you could buy the pr box so i bought it and it was like 50 pounds for like 10 lip glosses so you just get like all their double glazed glosses i'm not gonna go through like every single shade but my favorites are maca and ice latte it's all the caramel as well so i need to show you at least some of them like i think ice latte is my favorite favorite i think if i'm remembering that this is about yeah like it literally so nice so if you're ever looking for a nice new gloss i would definitely recommend this one ice latte and um, then i have the two from the Jack Jossa collection as well. The two that they done it with the collab with her, Baby Girl and Mojo. So just different packaging. Really nice shade. They actually have a different shaped wand as well. Well, at least one of them does. And they smell like different too. 
So next I have these three. I genuinely, I didn't buy any of these. They were all like gifts in the shop. Like sometimes, you know, it was like when you spent over a certain amount, they were like, you get a free gift. And I just accumulated these in that way. So I got two starkers and one petticoat starkers. I do use it sometimes. I need to show you it though. It's such a light, a light nude. It's just again about pairing it with like the right lip liner. Because <laughs> as you can see, it's giving concealer lips, literally. So it's all about the right lip liner, but this that's a stunning lip gloss. So if you're looking for like a real nude nude, then if they still sell these in the double glazed um in starkers, these were the part of the Stacey Marie collab, I think. So next I have a bunch of these revolution glosses, which I am obsessed with. So I have this, I have two of it. Um Gl uh, glimmer shimmer bomb glimmer by revolution absolutely obsessed so much so that i had to pick a second one up as a backup because honestly this is like so beautiful i'm gonna use this in a video soon i don't even really reach for it that much anymore but i need to start again this is my backup one it's just like the most stunning like rose gold Oh my god, why do I not use this? Like, look, it's not sheer at all. It's so pigmented as well. Um, and I have a Monica gloss from the Friends collab here, which I think you can... I don't even think they sell this anymore, and that's so sad, because that's literally... I love that. Everything's going to just fall. It's fine. <laughs> um, then next I have another Glimmer Shimmer Bomb um, in the shade Daydream. This was really disappointing. This shade, I don't know, it was just not as good as the glimmer one at all so it's so annoying um i've got my two glimmers and then next i have this is gonna be such a long video i can already tell this is so good this is the lion king collab with revolution and this is the shade i feel like it's danger but literally look at this I did wear this in my Valentine's Day look, so if you want to see what that's like. And it does have a like slight shimmer through it, as you can see, honestly. If you want a really nice, like, berry red gloss, I would so pick that up. But that's the thing about most of these glosses. They're part of, like, collabs, and they are hard to get almost now, because most of their collabs are limited edition with Revolution. Um, This is not the Shimmer Bomb in Distortion. So nice. I just i just this is my problem i have one pair of lips and so many like lip glosses it's her this is so annoying um but yes yeah, so and then next i have four <laughs> four revolution friends dewy glosses because this is my absolute favorite like pairing this with the myx nyx however you want to say it um uh, mauve lip liner honestly this is the dream nude lip for me like nudie pink this creates like when you pair it with that lip liner, it creates the most gorgeous, like pinky nude lip. So, and I, I'm really scared of this gloss being discontinued. So I've got four of them. <laughs> um, what is underneath here? Pipe balm in shade Kiss, which is pretty much used up now. <laughs> Probably do with being thrown out. Um, and I've got two. If you can see here, two Revolution just lip oils um i got them a while back i use them kind of overnight just to kind of so when, when i wake up my li lips aren't so dry i find them good for that and then under here i've got some l'oreal lip glosses these ones here these like plumpy ones i've got four shades of these and they're so good with like a topper gloss i honestly just need to take time to go through these glosses because like even with my doll beauty lipsticks they would go so nice with like some of those so i really need to go through those and then i've got the be perfect ellie kelly glosses which i got in a collab box that i got so there's like a goldy one um a really nice warm nude and this really nice pinky nude so literally stunning like this pinky nude is honestly and th this one in particular, I can't remember if it's Sailors as well, but this one in particular smells like bananas. I, that is so random, but it actually genuinely smells like bananas. And 
I just love this to just put it on and I'm just like that smells so nice so yeah this is such a gorgeous as you can see it's like kind of like a peachy pink almost but it's literally like I would definitely repurchase that when it runs out even if I don't use it that often because it's just so beautiful oh my gosh everything's everything's falling over it's fine okay so last up in this drawer I have these three brats glosses with revolution jade sasha chloe jade is like a pinky color sasha is like a really warm browny red color and chloe's just like a really nice like light browny nude so they, they are plumpy as well so they they do like sting on your lips and wait i just need to show you actually because these are like the biggest glosses i own and i love this because i hate when you get like a wee tiny one in a lip gloss because i consider myself to have like quite big lips so like when i'm putting gloss on if it's a tiny tiny applicator and i have to like dig in like 10 times to to get like the amount i want that's so annoying to me so like these are ideal like look how big the applicator is like that's just ideal to me but i know this is an unusually large like wand for a lip gloss to have but I love it and as soon as you open that you can smell the mintiness because of the plumping and these are very pigmented so they're not like sheer or anything just if you wanted to keep that in mind that they are not a sheer lip gloss they are very very pigmented okay so this is like the next drawer and the other drawer of my lip products the rest of them are just kind of thrown into random drawers which I will show you so this is mostly lip kits liquid lipsticks so first I have this really nice from where is this from um makeup revolution so this is the one of the star sign lip kits the air one it's just like a really nice like browny nude <laughs> and then i have this roxy one which again from revolution it's like a nice pinky one which would be great for the summer love island lip kit which is a lip liner and liquid lipstick i don't really use this a lot because I just I used to wear liquid lipstick so much like see like two years ago you would not have caught me in a lip gloss ever I would have just been 100% every day wearing liquid lipstick but like the last year or so I've literally changed so much and I prefer gloss now like I, I the reason I stayed away from gloss for so long was because I hate how irritating it is your hair gets stuck in it it's just messy there's like we're not gonna deny it like lip gloss is really messy but i just think it looks so much nicer than just a matte lip so i'm willing to go through all the bad things about lip gloss to to for my lip to look a bit nicer but there are some days where i still prefer a matte lip so this is such a nice like nudie pink but the only thing that bothers me with this is the lip liner is like the exact same color as the liquid lipstick i would like the lip liner to be a little bit darker just for more contoured effect and these are the mini mouse trio of glosses so stunning and you've seen me review them in my mini mouse collection video i don't even know what i have in here like to be honest <laughs> this is one of the soph and revolution lip balms this is the i'm pretty sure it says candy icing one this just looks orange on me and i don't really use it but at home i use things like this sometimes because i like to just like just to stop my lips from being so dry so sometimes i use this you know in that kind of way just with the balm just so that i'm my lips don't go all dry um next i have this which was a superstay vinyl ink from maybelline in the shade cheeky this is such a nice like pinky nude color um and if I'm feeling like kind of a liquid lip, like and I don't want to be bothered by gloss, this is a nice option to go for because you still get kind of like a shine. It's not like a full on shine you would get from a lip gloss, but it still gives you a shiny finish rather than just a straight up matte finish. And then recently I got this pipe balm from Revolution in the shape Mocha Shine. It's quite a bit darker than I thought it was going to be, but um, and I, I think I said this before, it's very like minty. So when I put it on, I'm like kind of overwhelmed with mint. But yeah, it's the formula is nice. I'm glad I got it to try the formula out. The colour's just a little bit dark. 
or my preference but yeah i will still wear this because it was pretty nice when i did wear it it has a lovely shine to it as well like a nice sheen and um, then i've got two of these matte bombs from revolution one is the game of thrones collab that they've done this is the aria stark shade so as you can see it's like such a nice like plum nude like mauve plum mauve nude i told you i'm really bad at describing shades but the next one is in the shade <laughs> fancy pink so this is just literally it's just literally a pink shade i'm so sorry if this video is so long um i do kind of want to do my doll beauty lip glosses in this um, a few other ones I have lying around, but I, I'll have to see how long that would make the video. That might just end up going in my tidy up video. So, this is a, like a real OG Revolution liquid lipstick. Um, as in like just one of the first kind of ones they did. Like, it wasn't one that I bought <laughs> years ago, but I think this is in the shade. It's so hard to find it. I think it's in the shade like ballet slipper or something does it even say oh heart race right okay heart race it says on the bottom um and then i just i have these lipsticks so they did go over my lipstick collection just the rachel friends and then this other revolution one and these again that i went over in my main lipstick collection video and these are w7 better to pout liquid lip set the colors are gorgeous the only thing about these is the formula is a bit drying on your lips so I'd say not to put too much of these on because they're they are pigmented but they're very kind of drying on your lips and they do like emphasize the cracks in my lips. So I would just apply like a little bit and maybe spread it out with your finger or something just so it's there's not so much of it on. Next I have Kylie liquid lipstick. I used to love these so much, but then they changed the formula and this is one I repurchased. This was my favourite shade ever, Kristen. But they changed the formula and it's just not the same anymore. I find it just comes off really easy. It, it like emphasises the cracks in my lips. It's very drying. Yeah, it's not the same formula it was. Which is a shame because I absolutely love this colour, Kristen. Especially for like summer. But it's just, the formula is just not what it used to be. And then I've got this XX Revolution sequel liquid lipstick. I swear I just showed you the sequel gloss as well that I had. I think they're matching. Um, so yeah, liquid lipstick. And then this is from Beauty Bay. This isn't liquid lipstick or anything, but I don't know. I just put these in there. This was a lip kit from Beauty Bay. Lip liner in the shade. Who knows? <laughs> um, let me see if I can find what shade this lip liner is. That's going on um, this was advertised as their pink nude lip kit online and it showed like a baby baby pink lip in the picture and it is not that at all. It literally is like a berry colour. So this is in Heather, the lip liner. And then the, so the, literally the lip liner is purple and the lip gloss is orange. So, um, and when I try, when I mix them together, they do come to like, a quite a wearable berry shade but so this is the lip gloss it doesn't look that bad in the tube but when you put it on i swear to god it's orange um <laughs> this is what does that even say i can't even read this slipper <laughs> slipper right that's the shade name this was the light like nude pink lip kit and yeah it was not that when i got it like the shades are right but they're just not nude pink so whoever put that together no um this is a velvet kiss lip crown in white wedding i think i told you before when i showed you the white wedding lipstick i had this used to be my everything this shade so that's why i had to get it in a different formula <laughs> next i have this revolution friends rachel lip kit we get two glosses and a lip liner love this lip liner wish i could buy it separately love the shade of it but unfortunately you can't and then i have my three roxy liquid lipsticks here these have honestly been with me so long and they're so so good two are matte formula and one's like a satin matte finish and so you get like a brownie nude um you get like like kind of like a more like a brownie pinky nude a brownie a light brownie nude and then like just a really nice pink i just love these so much 
they're always on sale on revolution website as well so i definitely like recommend you pick those up because all the colors are so wearable next i have this simpsons lip kit which is from revolution lots of this stuff's from revolution um and you just get like a lip liner and a gloss no you don't get a lip liner you don't get a lip liner you get this is the donut head hummer one so you get a, like a warm brown liquid lipstick and a clear gloss to go with it and then lastly i have this from revolution which is lip contour kit which my mum bought me in the shade lover didn't like the shade when i first got it but i did wear it recently and this is definitely like my more sort of my shade nowadays than it was when i first got it yeah it's such a nice brownie nude color so that's kind of this drawer all done i'm gonna see I'm gonna see if I should show you any more or if this video is already too okay, long. Okay, so I did kind of just come to the conclusion that this is already kind of a long video, so I am just gonna save the rest of it for my next video, which will be me like rounding off this series. So definitely let me know in the comments what you think about my um lip liquid lipstick and lip gloss collection. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this series and if you've got any of this uh, of any of these liquid lipsticks or lip glosses, let me know what you do think. But yeah, I'll see you again really soon for my next video, which will be the last one in this series. And that'll be the tidy up of kind of everything else that I haven't managed to show you so far. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.